Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with something I haven't done in months. This is a fog puzzle. I haven't, it's been so long since I've seen a fog puzzle. I'm really happy about this. So, um, this is Airport Fog by EPH. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, I saw this one pop up in the queue and it was like, ooh, fog puzzle, top of the queue. This is being done next. So, um, that's what's happening. So uh, I've done a couple of EPH puzzles recently. Um, I'm doing what's being submitted. I, I, my queue is in a weird state. It, I'm not getting many new submissions at all. Some of the old ones, the testers have like gone, eh, not sure they're suitable, but I'm going to have to start going through them. So there's going to be some weird stuff happening. Um, I'm really nervous. We'll see how it all goes. Let's have a look at Airport Fog by EPH. But before that, please, if you have puzzles that you think are going to be good for the channel, or if you've come across anything, or you've created anything that you would like to see featured, please send it through. Um, my submission guidelines are below. They're not that onerous. I prefer, like All I need is details and some hints so that um, I can get them through testing. Or as sometimes happens, if I get really stuck on a puzzle, I will go and look at the hints to try and get unstuck. Featuring the puzzle is more important than me being showing off how good a solver I am. I want to be able to showcase the puzzle. That's what I do here. So if I can't solve it, that's not a deal breaker for the puzzle being seen on my channel, because why would it be? Me not being able to do a puzzle shouldn't be a gate me gatekeeping puzzles from being seen. So um, yeah, that's why I want those hints just in case. Um, yeah, so have a look. Um, my submission guidelines are below. Please, if you see puzzles that you think would be good for the channel, or if you create puzzles that you think would be good for the channel, send them through. Let's have a look at Airport Fog by EPH. So what do we have? We have Standard Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Now, most of this grid is covered in fog. What does that mean? See all of this gray? Under this gray are almost certainly clues. These are, but this is a cloudy grid. It is a cloudy day at the airport. Um, and we don't know what is under this. And these planes, well, they probably got some sort of um, ALS um, system, but we don't know what's under the fog yet. So in order to figure out what's under the fog, when you place a digit, like actually turn around and go, there is a, this is a X. So when I confirm what this digit is, if, um, if I was to place a digit here and know it's correct, then all of the digits touching that cell and the cell itself will have all of the fog cleared away. It becomes a beacon in the fog and blows away the fog. And that means that we can see what is hidden below the fog and those the constraints that are there will be revealed and we will be able to see that um, progress with the puzzle. However, don't guess. It is, it is not required in these puzzles, if they're set well, um, in order to guess what the digits are. So it would be possible for me to put in that and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one of those digits will be correct and clear away the fog. If you do that, you're effectively cheating. Now, if you want to cheat at your puzzles, go for it. Like that, I'm not telling you not to do that, but you shouldn't need to do that. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, German whispers. So on these green lines, adjacent digits on a green line must have a difference of at least five. So um, any two cells connected by a green line, difference of at least five. Uh, digits in a gray square must be greater than all digits orthogonally adjacent to it. So if there was a gray square here, these digits would have to be smaller than that digit. That's if there's a gray square here. I don't know that there is. I'm saying if. Also somewhere in this grid, there's probably thermometers because the rules say that there's th they're, they're, we're given the thermometer rule. A thermometer will have a bulb, which is a circle, and then a line coming out of it. In, as we progress along a thermometer, um, digits go, increase along the thermometer. So um, if this was a bulb and the thermometer ran along here, this digit would be higher than here, this digit would be higher than here, this digit would be higher than here. That's if there was a thermometer here. I don't know that there is. But as you move along a thermometer, the digits must always increase. They can't go down, they can't stay the same. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. That is going to be a five. Now, why do I know this is going to be a five? Let's use green to draw. I can see this line goes into this box. I can see this line goes into this box. I can see this line goes into, or cell. I can see this line goes into this cell. I can see this line goes into this cell. I can see this line goes into this cell. And I can see this line goes into this cell. So this German whisper line does at least that. Now, why is that telling me that this is a five? 
because you could never put a five on a green German whisper line because there is a difference of at least five between any two cells connected by a German whisper line. So if I was to put a five in one of these cells, I'd have to add or subtract five from the digits next to it. Even if I just picked this one, what would this be? Well, if I was to add five in order to have a five difference, this would have to be 10 or higher, not valid Sudoku digits. Remember, one to nine. If I was subtract five, this would have to be zero or lower, also not valid. So you can never put five on a German whisper line. So that's a five, and that has confirmed. Now, if I remove my lines, this will confirm what I'd already placed. See? Now, aha, this digit. Now, before I use that greater than, I am going to continue to explain. I'm going to continue to explain what I um, knew about German whisper lines. So, because I know what that digit is. Um. I also know what that digit is. Actually, I know the makeup of this entire line. That's cool. Well, most of it. I, I, I know what these four digits are. So along a German whisper line, we can't put a, uh, this German whisper line, we cannot put a five. So we know that every digit on the line is either going to be below five, one, two, three, or four, or above five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, let's say this was below five, one, two, three, or four. What would that be? Well, it couldn't also be from one, two, three, four, because none of those digits are five different from each other. So this would have to be from six, seven, eight, nine. It has to be different. Now, what if this was six, seven, eight, nine? Well, this couldn't be from six, seven, eight, nine because they're too close. This would have to be from one, two, three, four. So any digit on a line that is next to a digit below five must be above five, and any digit that is from above five must be below five. But this is given to us by this is a maximum cell, which means that all of these must be below five. These are one, two, three, four. These are six, seven, eight, nine. But we would have gotten something about that. Like this is telling us that these are one, two, three, four, and these are six, seven, eight, nine. But we only needed to know really that one of these was because this line had its entire, um, once we got one of these was below, we were locked. But this cannot be a four. Neither can this or this. Why? Because four only has a single digit between one and nine that is five away from it, which is nine. Six, seven, and eight. Six is only two away. Seven is only three away. And eight is only four away. So if this was a four, both of those digits would have to be nine. The same is true here. If this was a four, both of those digits would have to be nine. If this was a four, both of those digits would have to... Whoops, 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 whoops. This was a four. Both of these digits would have to be nine. That's not a four. This is the four, which means this is the nine. Now, the same is true for six. These can't be six because if this was a six, the only digit five away is one. So these would both have to be one, not a six. Same is true here. So this is the six and this is the one. There is no one in those. There is no nine in those. And that's what I said. I had those four digits. Now, I saw that very, very quickly, but I needed to like... I could, probably could have written that in in the first 20 seconds of the solve. I'm nearly four minutes in, but I needed to explain it. This is what I do. This is why my solve times are terrible, right? Now, this is a very long thermo. I don't know which end it starts on, though. What can I tell from this? Because I don't think I can do anything with that. Because 9, 3, 8. Well, actually, I can. One of those is a 2. So uh, one of these is a 3. So, yeah, one of these is a 3. Of course, I already knew this. One of these has to be a 3. So if that was a 7, one of those would only be 4 or 8. That's the 8, which means that's the 7, which means this can't be a 3. That's the 2, and that's the 3. I'd, I'd remembered before, a, a line like this is always fully determined once you can get the polarity of it, but I couldn't remember how. That's how. Now, what can I do with these thermos? I don't think I could do anything with this. I mean, I know the thermo continues, and this can't be four or five, but I think I have to work with one of these. Like, this is maximum eight, maximum six because it must continue. So this is maximum eight. This is maximum six. This is maximum four. So this is only two or four because it can't be one, three or five. 
So this has to be higher than two. So it's three, four, five, or six. And then we got four, five, six, seven, or eight. So this is not helping much. Is it this? This is very, very basic. I am now having to think a lot harder. I can tell the nine is in one of those. Um, this is a maximum eight. This can't be seven or six, so this is a maximum five. This is a maximum of three, so this is one or three. But this is two, three, four, or five. But this is one or three. And then this becomes anything from three to eight. You know, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Is there something going on with the geometry of that? Eight, five, ooh. I don't think this could be the high end of the, I don't think this can be the high end of the thermo because this would be a maximum of an eight. This couldn't be seven or six. This would be a maximum of five. This couldn't be four. So it'd be maximum three, two, one, and we're broken. This can't be the high end of the thermo. This is the high end of the thermo because this thermo must continue to at least here. So maximum here would be eight. That's if this is a nine. This couldn't be six or seven. This is maximum five. This couldn't be four, maximum three, maximum two, maximum one, but it needs another digit. This can't be the high end of the thermo. This is maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four. So two, three, four, three, four, five, this can't be four. This is a six. That's beautiful. This is seven, eight, nine. That's stunningly beautiful. There's no eight there. So three, four, five, two, three, four, one, two, three. But what's that doing down here? So I know that these digits are all the same high lowity. Because remember I talked about the alternating? So these are low. Those are one, two, three, four. Because I, they can't be all high because I've got two high digits in the box already. So these would be from six, seven, eight, nine, and I'd have five digits from six, seven, eight, nine. So those are low, and this is eight or nine. And I can get rid of the coloring. Great. Now, these are one, two, three, four. This isn't a three, this isn't a one, and this isn't a two or a four. That gives me a one, three pair. So these are seven, eight, nine, and must contain a seven. There is an eight in one of those two. This is an eight, nine pair. I can't put eight, nine in any of those. This is an eight, nine pair. That's cool. And this is one, two, three, four, five without being a three. So one, two, four, five. Five is in one of those two. There's a German whisper line here, but that's low because it can't be six, seven, or eight, nine. So this is one, two, three, four. Can't be four because both of those would have to be nine. This can't even be three because the only thing that can go next to three is eight or nine, and that can't be eight or nine. So this is a one or a two. That could be a five if this goes four, three, two, or four, three, one, right? If if that's not part of the thermo. But these are six, seven, eight, nine. This can't be eight or nine, so it's six or seven. That can't be six because this line continues up. If it's seven, that's two, one. That can't be nine. It's seven or eight. So this is one, two, or three. It can't be four. And it can't be one or three. That's a two. Oh, that's beautiful. Which means this is one. There's no one here, so no two here, no, so no three here. Which means three is in one of those two. This is six or nine and can't be six because six would require to have one next to it and it doesn't have the one next to it. That's the nine. 
The two makes this four, which means this isn't three or four. This isn't four or five because we must increase along this thermo. This is so beautifully elegant. This is from two, three, four, five. This could go two, three, four, five if the thermo went that far, but I don't know that it does. Now this is low, it's three or four. But it continues, so this can't be a four. If this was a four, this line still continues. If this was a four, both of those would need to be a nine. That's a three. So this is the one, this is the three, which means this is not a three. This has to be eight or nine, um, and it can't be a nine. That's the eight, which makes that the seven, that the six. And these are four and five. But this is the end of a thermo. So maximum five, maximum four, four maximum two, because I can't use three. So this is one, two, two, four, four, five. And it can't be a one. That's a two. That's a four. That's a five. That's a four. This is really nice. I'm loving this. I love fog puzzles. I love good fog puzzles. I've set some atrocious fog puzzles. So the two four takes two four out of there. So two is in one of those two. So two is in one of those two. Six is down here. I don't think that's what I'm looking at. Eight is in one of those two. Okay, let's look at these thermos. I'm going to use blue for the thermo. That must continue to there. That must continue to there. So none, I can't, where can I put one in this box? I can't put one in any of those cells or those cells because I can't put one on the thermo. So one, it has to be here, but the same is true as two. This is minimum five. This is minimum six. This has to be, this is seven, eight, nine. It can't be eight. This is seven or nine. But two can't go in any of these cells because these all have to be higher than four. So this is a one, two pair. which means that's a one, because I can't put one in any of those cells. That is a one. Where's five in this box? Because this quadruple is five, six, seven, and nine, but I can't put five here because this would have to be between four and five. So this is the five, and this is six, seven, or nine. And that's proved my thermo thing. This is six, seven, whoops, get into the right mood. This is six, seven, nine, which is looking down saying that can't be a seven. That's the three, that's the seven. Six, seven, nine, of course, makes that the five. And these, no, these are one, two, three, six, eight. Well, there's no three there. No eight there, and there's no six there. So that's that triple. Not helping me much. That don't impress me much. Okay, there's now a German whisper line here. These have to be low, because this digit here, oh, that can't be a seven. If that was a seven, remember that line is connecting to there, and that line is connecting to there. If that was a seven, these would have to be one, two. But they can't be. So that's not the seven, that's the seven. And these are from two, three, four. There's no three there. In fact, three is in one of these cells. It's, oh, this can't be a three. Three is in one of those two because the three looking across and up and the German whisper line. Three is in one of those two. Oh, the one resolves this. That's the two, that's the one. The two means this isn't a two, so this is a four or a five minimum, so this can't be three or four because this has to be higher than this. This is a four five pair. That's the two. Which means this isn't a two. 
2 is in one of those two cells. Five can't be on a whisper line, can't be in the top row. Five is in one of those two cells, meaning that can't be a five. Ah, this five is saying that's the one, that's the four, that's the five. Which means that is the four, this is the five. These are all six, seven, eight, nine, but this has to be higher than the, min the minimum this could be, so this can't be a six. This is sweet. The four, of course, makes that the two and that the three, which allows that to be either eight or nine. In fact, these, I want a six, eight, nine, which means that can't be a six. That's a seven, nine pair. That's a six. Taking six out of both of those, this seven, eight means this can't be a seven. That's an eight, nine. Seven is in one of those two, but that's a seven, eight, nine triple. I don't really need to mark that. But this six, eight, nine says that's the seven and that's the nine. And I know what these triples are. Two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are one, two, three. This, these are six, seven, eight, nine. But this is smaller than this. So this can't be a six and this can't be a nine. But that's all I know about that. That could be a two cell long thermo for all I know. Okay. Um, I, I've got to be down to Sudoku at this point. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting very nervous. So these are two, three, four. And these are one, five, eight, nine. Okay, I'm very nervous. No, I'm not. This six is looking up, saying that's not the six. This is the six. Actually, no, this is not helping my nervousness at all. This could be eight could go next to two or three. Nine could go next to two or three. Oh, that four. That four can't go next to an eight. Four and eight are only four apart. That's the nine. That's the eight, which means this is the eight and this is the nine. Now, that removes eight from all of these. And this is a triple, one, five, eight. Huh. Okay, now I'm terrified. Now I'm completely terrified. These are one, three, four, and six, and must contain one and four. These, six, seven, eight, nine, must contain seven and nine. And these are two, three, five, eight, and must contain two and five. How do I resolve that? If this is seven, nine, This can't be a seven. If this is a seven, this becomes a nine. That becomes an eight, which forces that to be a nine. That can't be a seven. That's a six. Which takes six out of all of these. That's forcing this to be three cells long. So this is seven, nine. That takes nine out of there. The seven, eight pair makes that nine. And now we've got a whisper line. This can't be a six. It also can't be a four, or both of those would need to be nine. This has to be a high digit, but 
but I'm not seeing it yet. That trick, by the way, was quite, quite tricky. There's no seven here. The six I've done. This is seven, eight. Huh. It's got to be this, right? Seven, one. Low, low, low. Huh. We know this is a high digit, but it could stop there. Six one seven is perfectly legal. Nine three eight is perfectly legal. No, oh, this can't be a nine because of that. So if this is a three, this is an eight. This can't be a three. If this was a three, both of those would need to be eight. This can't be a three. That's a one. So there's no one in either of those. The one looks down saying that's not a one. The one looks up saying that's not a one. But one is the least restrictive digit. Ooh, this has got a sting at the end. This continues. This can't, this, this is a low digit. There's no five or eight there. So this is a two, three pair, making that a four, meaning that's a three and that's a two. The three looks up making that the four. There's no four there. The four makes that the five, making no five there. The four looks up making that the six and that the four. I probably missed something here. The six says that there's no six here, of course. That's a seven, eight pair, which looks down making that the five, taking five out of those. I feel like I'm now over pencil marked but I'm not sure what to do about that. There's no five here, so this is the five. There's no nine here, so this is the nine. The six, eight pair makes that the seven, which means this can't be a three, it'd be too close. That's the two, and I take two out of there. The three looks up taking three out of there. The three makes that the eight, which makes that the six, which makes that the three, which makes that the six, that the eight, that the three. The eight looks down, making that the one and that the eight. The one looks up, making that the two, which makes that the three and that the one. And the eight looks up, making that the seven and that the eight. That was really nice. The sting at the end was quite tricky, but that was a beautiful fog puzzle. I loved the way this thermo worked. I was like, nah, no way I could figure anything out by that. But this line, forcing that thermo to go in a particular direction and that then working on those was incredibly clever. And then that forcing this to be six, seven, eight, nine, give, working on that line, and then it just revealing enough. That was really tight. Thank you, APH. Really appreciated that one. Wow. Once again, I'm blessed with puzzles when I get them please submit. Thanks everyone for watching and as always, good luck with your solving.